Hello everyone, how are you for Smith here? Going to be doing a few more um, Daniel Larson readings um, for the month of um, April. Mainly because some more interesting stuff has came out and there's, I want to read like a few more articles about it. So we're going to start off, it's the 1st of April by the way, doing the travel arc article. So I'm going to see the audio levels, that's fine. This is quite a long one to be fair. Travel arc. This section documents the events that has occurred thus, thus far during Daniel Larson's, fo Daniel Larson's tra travels following his departure from Las Vegas. This arc is ongoing so edits slash additions can and should be made as the arcs progress. Daniel's first stops, stop Phoenix, Arizona. The thing is like when he left um, Las Vegas he basically took a fucking trip on a coach <laughs> went all over the place Arizona Phoenix Daniel arrived in Phoenix Arizona March the 18th doing unspecified time frame after taking a bus from Las Vegas Nevada the first video that was uploaded after his arrival was a cash app shout out after receiving donations from his viewers throughout the day Daniel would up upload more shout outs following do do shout outs following donations including one thanking Andio Grande for a $70 donation also, Daniel also uploaded multiple videos of him rapping about his travels and his new location in these videos he can be heard rapping statements such as I, sta I stand up here next to Sphinx and I can't wait to taste the cat in the Rich's brew it's a bit fucking weird Daniel would then proceed to make a video stating that he is no longer taking Latia, or whatever that is, a medication that is used to treat schizophrenia. Okay, that's what that is. You should take that sort of stuff. I mean, uh, it stops him from going fucking demented. Daniel addressed this by stating, I had to take myself off that Latuna again because it was making my speech blurred and it was making me more confused to where I couldn't think. He's probably ODing on it then, sounds like. Daniel would then go on to make a video stating that he'd need 20 more dollars before he could before he could be headed to Tuscan, Arizona, where he would post again later that day, showing himself in what appears to be a train, monorail or subway. So it is not clear what mode of transportation he took. In the video, he appear <coughs> it appeared to be night time, and Daniel does not specify where the train is heading. It is assumed that he's, he's still in Phoenix, Arizona, doing these posts. Around the same time, Daniel would post on YouTube community tab Daniel Larson NYC that he had just booked my bus ticket to Tucson. To, for tomorrow morning T Tuscan referring to Tuscan Arizona one account by the name of Noah S commented what are you going to do in Tuscan Daniel simply re replied transfer another comment read I thought you were going to New York Daniel replied I am in another community post that that night Daniel would comment that after going to Tuscan his next destination would be Houston this is basically like Daniel Larson on tour, essentially. Tuscan, that that I can't even see that say that place properly. Tuscan, there we are. Daniel arrived in Tuscan, Arizona, on March nineteenth. Wait a minute, where was he on the um, other one? Oh, eight. He's only here for a day. Uh, March 19th, after taking a bus from Phoenix that morning. Similar to his trips to Phoenix, Daniel did not plan on staying there very long, indicating that he would be travelling to El Paso, Paso Texas, after, uh, after arriving to Tuscan. Daniel updated his views on the current financial situation. According to him, he had $50 in his savings account, minus 40 in his checking account, and Daniel requested $150 to travel to El Paso, Texas. Daniel would 
would later upload a series of videos where you can be seen eating cookies and cream ice cream while displaying the box it came in in this video Daniel says these are amazing if you haven't tried if I haven't tried them you could try them Daniel would then make a video saying oh my god with all this cookie dough is so messy I literally look like I'm doing something really naughty due to the white ice cream being smeared all over his lips and face because he's a dirty fucking eater he doesn't know how to eat properly while in Tuscan Daniel interacted with many strangers who who he can assume are viewers of Daniel Daniel would, would post various selfies throughout this time in Tuscan with these strangers after a few hours of of hit of of uh, a few hours after his first post with with these, these strangers Daniel would upload a video in which he is dancing with five men it's a bit fucking gay really in it who also appears to be fans of Daniel Daniel would then post photos of his food at a restaurant and onto his YouTube community page Daniel Larson NYC stating my dinner t tonight fully free and on the fan well that's nice of him more photos and videos can be st streamed St streamed in from from Daniel of three different strangers he had to be in contact with, connected with. These these strangers strangers can be heard talking to Daniel, asking him what he needs like snacks, lotion, and shampoo. They do not purchase any of the items on camera, but it can be assumed that they have did it after the recording stopped. Also, a little an unknown fan bought Daniel a tent. In which he would carry around with him. They fucking set setting him up good then. I hope they're gonna wash their wash their skin afterwards due to all the scabies that he's got. There's videos and pictures, but I'm not gonna bother going through them because this is a long article. Um, I just want to read it to be fair. Benson. On March 21st, Daniel uploads a video where he's walking down the side of a road and he explains some things that recently happened blows a video and the quote from the video uh, we, we're not going to watch that actually is it a short one two minutes no no, no. I want to get this done um, the quote is I'm currently in Arizona it's a small town and I can't say the name of the town mainly for safety obviously he doesn't want to dox himself but he keeps on doxing himself by streaming all the time I was going to go to El Paso but I'm going to have to cancel that. Yesterday I was receiving death threats after over going to El Paso, so I'm not going to El Paso until I can get security. Hmm. Although Daniel has never stated in what town he was in, the subreddit was able to find out <laughs> where he, where he he was based of a video of a of based of a video he re he recorded just before the one he mentioned above. Where Daniel was in a veteran veteran memorial, members of the Reddit found the memorial on Google Maps, and it was in Benson, Arizona, only 50 miles away from Tuscan. Daniel uploads more videos in this town as he was walking through it, and a lot of these videos, it was hard to hear Daniel due to the wind. So some of the information he was trying to get his. He's trying to give his viewers was lost. Below is another quote from one of the videos. Please note that the video ended abruptly, so the last sentence is not a full sentence. So I'm currently on a layover from one bus to another. Apparently, the the bus got in at ten last night, so I didn't get eight. Texas, El Paso. He finally got to El Paso. Early morning, March 22nd, Daniel posted a video in which he is in a parking garage. He explains that he got in the wrong bus. <laughs> Fucking hell. So instead of going to Roswell, oh, he was going to Roswell, not El Paso. Uh, New, Me New Mexico, like he intended, he ended up in El Paso, Texas. He reveals more information which is shown below. Another thing that happened was someone called C. Daniel posted to his community uh, YouTube community page about a person named C treating him threatening him while in El Paso. Daniel following by the claims such as 
See, stop texting me. See, stop messaging me. Or I'll fix. Or I'll fix you and your family on TikTok, and the FBI. And we'll tell your. And we'll tell the fans to press charges. He always gets his fans to do his dirty work for him, doesn't he? Okay, I need. Please, my location just got breached. I'm getting death threats. The kids kidnap threats from sea. Hmm. Again, schizophrenia. As of March 22nd, we know nothing about who C is um, or what he is saying to Daniel other than Daniel replying to a comment saying that he's a troll. Another situation that happened in El Paso was when Daniel was inside a restaurant, Daniel was doing fine, thanking donors and receiving his 20 song music album which will release in 2025. That's a long fucking wait for a music album to come out. As well as as well as saying the fo- that 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 the following morning he would be be going to Houston, Texas, but then out of nowhere he posted a video where he was saying that that he was dealing with the police. Daniel stated that someone called the police to the restaurant he was in, saying that what that he was one of his fans. He also declared that that his tab was fully paid. Daniel made another video a bit after that though stating that the police had let him go he could be seen walking down the streets in this video even stated that he he did a $50 tip um, because of what happened you could have needed that money you know the next morning Daniel uploads a video from inside a tent presumably the same tent he was given in Tuscan in which he had slept a night in in the video he stated that he needed new shoes he showed the shoes that he currently had on camera a little while a, a little later he uploaded on where he was boarding a bus the one he would use to go to his next location the next day on the 23rd of March Daniel Larson was spotted in the downtown San Jacinto Plaza Park in El Paso Texas near a MJ, M, J, J, J. P. Morgan Chase, Chase Bank walking to the nearest bus station Sierra 12.30 p.m. Mid standard time. Where he where he got to the bus station, he was speaking to an old lady, presumably asking for directions. That that night, Daniel takes a bus to Big Spring, Texas. And this is where all the big fucking shit starts because it's look look at it look all this bloody writing right here. Big Spring on March the twenty fourth, Daniel arrives in Big Spring, Texas. Early in the day, Daniel claims that he lost his debit card. He spends the rest of the day searching for it. That's a stupid thing to lose. March 25th, Daniel uploads a video with his debit card. Claiming that he's been returned. He claims that he's no longer working. Probably because he cancelled it. Daniel then posts multiple videos of his lunch that he has purchased. Including mozzarella sticks and a cheeseburger. Daniel uploads a picture of a man sleeping with the caption Tell this guy to stop stalking me on his YouTube community page. Well, he's, pro- he's probably a fucking homeless guy and you're harassing him by taking pictures. That's, uh, kind of illegal. Around 11pm Daniel uploads many videos talking about an emergency occurring on his YouTube community page. In the emergency he was receiving dozens of comments from trolls in the videos, Daniel claims that he is currently communicating on the phone with Ivan, who told Daniel that he is delusional and he is not in, in contact with Tina Vanderol. I think I've seen that video. It's, like, it's actually spitting facts right there, you know, troll is. Daniel claims that the conversation escalated in a fight because even Evan w- would not let Daniel speak. Which led to Daniel telling Evan to never contact him again. Daniel up, upload, posts a video claiming that he is calling the police. Daniel immediately uploads a video claiming that he was, that he received word from Evan's wife Paula that Evan is holding Grace Vanderbilt at gun gunpoint and making Grace date Evan. Evan, yeah, he still believes like random shit, right? Really. Like you, you t- tell him anything, he'll believe you. Because like tell him a bunch of lies, he'll take that as fact. In another vi- video, uh, Daniel claims that he has been told the same thing by someone claiming to be Grace. Daniel posts two videos claiming that he went to, that he was sent cease and desist letters by both 
LBI Records and Columbia Records and also states that his letters confirm this prior his prior employment with these companies. Daniel proceeds to post 47 videos over the course of an hour talking about all the information above. Throughout these videos he switches back and forth about his association with Grace and Tina Vanderbilt multiple times along with also switching back and forth on the legitimacy of the current statues of the restaining order that have been put in place on him. He also claimed that he was fired by his manager. In two videos he mentioned Michael Quinn and World of T-shirts or World of Shirts. On March the 26th, that was a bit of an eventful day right there, 26th of March, um, Daniel posts multiple videos of his breakfast, nacho cheese, chips and an energy drink. That's not a very good way to start the day really. Um, like if you're starting the day on that, it's not going to be good. Just have that like, cereal or like, porridge or something like that. Something to like, get you going. He then uploads a video claiming that Gus Fringe's donations did not go through. Daniel updates the, his YouTube community page that he's in another crisis. Daniel posts indicate that he was under the impression that he was communicating with Grace. He attempts to he who was attempting to blackmail Daniel into giving her his social media passwords. Multiple threats at uh, through threats and violence. Daniel then leaves a, leaves a comment on that his debit card was working again, but he's missing sixty dollars. He announces that he is going to get lunch. On the way, he posts multiple videos of a dog while he's filming someone's dog for, complaining that he might attack him. Oh, I was a stray dog. Okay. He also states that he will fucking murder that dog. as some animal abuse, and you can get arrested for that if it tries to bite him. Daniel then uploads a video of a company car which ultimately causes fans to find his location. Okay, <laughs> starting all over again. After announcing that his location has been breached, Daniel states he's going to a new location. He's probably going like, to walk down the street a few steps in. A, a bit later, Daniel uploads a video of someone off camera holding a phone. The video documents a phone call with a person claiming to be security from MGM who has kicked him out. That's an um, MGM um, casino, not the MGM television company. Daniel asked why he was kicked out and was told that he was kicked out because he had scabies and is a paedophile and likes children. Uh, that's what a paedophile is, someone that likes children. That's not two different things, that's like one thing right there. Daniel claims that he's not true, even though it is true and he's admitted that he's a paedophile and had 500 megabytes of CP on his computer. The caller then referenced the Pinterest boards. Daniel alleged that this has been taken care of legally. Oh, oh, that was a call. Okay, yeah, that was the video I saw. Came from Lee and his social media was hacked in 2021 and he won the court case, did he? The caller then asked Daniel to donate him $10 to which Daniel claimed that his management was in charge of his finances. You don't have any management, they're trolls trying to control you. The person who's holding the phone asked if Daniel would take a picture for like $5 to which Daniel responded no. Then the video cuts to Daniel frantically running towards the front door of the restaurant. He proceeds to film the vehicle that he claims a person from the beginning of the video entered. He shows a red pickup truck. Four hours later, Daniel uploads a video alleging that he took the bus and is now in Richter, Kansas. This is impossible as Richter, Kansas is a 17 hour bus ride. Later that day, Daniel makes multiple posts to TikTok and YouTube. Is he back on TikTok again? Claim that he has been, that he has been stalked while a white pickup truck, uh, by a white pickup truck, for the past few hours. In the videos, Walmart signs can be seen in the background. Daniel then announces that his location has been doxxed again. In another video, Daniel claims that fans are calling the Big Spring Walmart 
in order to have him kicked out. Daniel also claims that he is a man waiting outside for him with a gun. This is where he goes really schizophrenic because he's off his meds. Daniel then goes live on TikTok um, comment, documenting his adventures around the city. Daniel begins to be, begins the live by hiding behind a shopping cart in the Walmart. I'm pretty sure they can see through them things, you're not really hiding. Where he claims that the white pickup truck is in the parking lot waiting for him. He says that he notified security of the location. He also claims the owner of the truck strategically parked it to have complete view of the parking lot. That's because it's like I've actually seen that entire arc video. And there's like no one in the car parking lot. There's about one or two but it's like fucking empty. It's like no one goes to Walmart anymore. <laughs> That's why it's fucking dead. I, well, I lost my thing. Uh, Daniel also alleges that before he started his live stream, he tried to leave the store, but the white pickup truck began following him. So he returned to the store. An employee can be heard telling Daniel that he checked the parking lot and, yet, and there is not a white, white pickup truck in it. Daniel exits the store and shows a parking and, and shows a parking lot for evidence. The white pickup truck is not there, but a black pickup truck drives past Daniel and parks in front of the store, which makes him suspicious. That's the thing, because like by then he is in the opposite of the car park, and he is in a um a convenience store, I believe, like a um like 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 a gas um. Um, ga garage thing like a petrol station I don't know what they call them over there but we call them petrol stations Daniel hides behind the vending machine eventually Daniel decides to flee to a neighbouring gas station oh and then he goes where, where oh it must be in the north yeah and a convenience store because it looked like it um, and he runs across the parking lot. While he is running, Daniel claims that a white car had sped through the parking lot and it and he believed it was attempting to catch up with it to him. Daniel went to the gas station and asked the cashier to call the police because he claims two cars are stalking him and sending him death threats on his live stream. Another employer offers to make the phone call for Daniel. Daniel then proceeds to tell the employee about his internet fame and his fucking hell, I bore him to death will you? You can tell him you're a paedophile as well. <laughs> and goes into detail about his alleged stalkers. He then gives the employees details of the trucks and the cashier accompanies Daniel outside and looks for the trucks. According to both of them, the parking lot is clear. Daniel returns to the gas station building and continues to watch for the back black, black pickup truck. He then claimed that the white car is back and shows an employee. Daniel is told to leave the store. Outside, multiple customers and employees assure da Daniel that he is safe. For the, for the rest of the live, Daniel walks around and, and gives a motivational speech. He talks about autism, his family history, his similarities to Donald Trump and his fan base. Daniel apologises for messing up and doxing people in the past. He's like feeling really guilty because he thinks they might help him. He also acknowledges the Pinterest um, board incident and claims that he was hacked. During Daniel's monologue, he doc documents himself walking close to and trespassing on the edges of several properties. In one yard, a dog barks at him. He yells that a dog repeatedly crosses the street, almost getting hit by a car in the process. During the live stream, Daniel starts running multiple times. Each time he claims to see and hear something suspicious, he eventually goes into a Whataburger and asks if he can use a outlet to call an, so he can call an Uber. Daniel then immediately air, ends the live stream. The live stream was uploaded to YouTube by user Acid Gate. That's the one I've seen. That w that was really eventful. <laughs> to to be fair, that was a major day. On the twenty seventh of March, at around one p one a.m., Daniel goes on live on TikTok again. He films himself walking through the city and talks about his previous safety concerns. 
Daniel said that he has talked to some local business owners and they have said all the gunshots Daniel thought he heard was actually car cars and the 4th of July fireworks. 4th of July. <laughs> it takes Daniel a few seconds to realise it's Mark. <laughs> Daniel then proceeds to talk about how many police officers there are and and films them as they drive by. At one, at some point, Daniel jogs over a bridge, and at a point, Daniel states his um, Uber app is broken, uninstalled and reinstalled again. Normally works. So, as uh, so he's walking back to the gas station where he's previously previously left at. You're walking back to where the enemy is supposed to be. It's a bit stupid. Um, while later walking along the street, he films a police car doing a U-turn towards him. He claims the police car parked near him and the officers are watching him. Eventually, one of the officers approaches Daniel, who films the interaction. The police officer tells Daniel that the station received multiple calls about Daniel. Daniel tells the officer about his celebrity status on TikTok. I fucking get. The officer tells Daniel that after he heard the calls, he researched Daniel. Wait a where, where, where we go? He he researched da Daniel and had actually been watching his live. Oh, that's why they pulled him over because they want to know what, what the fuck's going on. And decided to find him. Yeah. The officer also tells Daniel that he is free to go at any point and he's not under arrest. That's thing because they probably just like saw his live and thought, oh, we're in the area. We're gonna check up on this guy see if he's all right. Which is fine. Like police can do that. The interaction was a, was a very positive one, and after saying goodbye to the police officer, Daniel announces that he's going back to the gas station to charge his phone in order to an Uber. Daniel ended the live stream shortly before arriving at the gas station. Almost immediately after the live stream ends, his location of the gas station that Daniel went to was posted to Reddit. Daniel makes a few posts telling fans to stop calling the location he is at. The truck stop was spammed with calls from fans, some attempting to make the staff aware of Daniel's reputation and presence, others simply requesting to speak to Daniel. One person reportedly got hold got hold of, of Daniel but the conversation was cut short after Daniel got mad at the corner caller for referring, it, for referring him as Danny Boy and Anderson. Eventually the truck stopped, stopped the, the truck <laughs> The truck stopped call, calling up, picking up calls. Okay, that that was really confusing to say. By the way, an account claiming to be Tina Vanuel received multiple comments on Dan on Daniel's YouTube community page, causing him to have a breakdown. And now we're troll. Later in the day, Daniel uploads multiple videos of him having a conversation with a fan at the, at the truck stop. A fan buys Daniel a. Co. Daniel later claimed that his location has been leaked and the truck stop received a lot of calls about him. After posting a screenshot with his email pictured, Daniel also claims that his email and YouTube page has been leaked and hacked. Well, you just uploaded your email address online, so of course it's going to be like got into. Daniel goes live on TikTok and claims that he's running from an assassination from the right. In in, in the white pickup truck again. Daniel ends the live stream after announcing that he has received a threatening text. Daniel imme immediately uploads a picture, a picture, a picture of the text messages, of the text messages, the text messages you put, a stock image of a gun, and the message "I see you, and you can either come to the white truck and to negotiate, and or else." The video was quickly removed from TikTok. Daniel claimed to have called the police over the messages. Daniel claimed the police took him to the hospital. However, this is yet to be found true. Eventually, Daniel got on the bus and left Big Spring. Fucking hell, that, that was a major, ma a major couple of days right there. <laughs> Sweetwater. These have really weird names. On the 28th of March, Daniel made it to Sweetwater, Texas. After staying on the, on his Greyhound bus for a total of 20 minutes and getting off at the first stop, a bit pointless, going on it. 
Daniel claimed that he saw a white pickup truck at the location. Daniel decided to stay at the station due to due to what what he deemed a security threat. A few people managed to find it at Daniel's location, as the business name was in the background of a video he posted. Multiple vid multiple people attempted to get Daniel kicked out, even having the police call him to the location, but to no avail. Daniel was offered twenty dollars to mop the bathrooms of the truck stop, and he accepted. Was an easy twenty. Later that day, Daniel said that he would be collaborating with Playboy Carly, the rapper, in Atlanta in a TikTok video. Daniel left Saltwater in the evening and headed to Dallas. San Antonio. Daniel arrived in San Antonio on March 29th. He went live on TikTok while sleeping at the Greyhound station. During the live stream, an employee woke Daniel from his slumber and proceeded to kick him out of the building. Loitering again. Probably thought he was a bum. Daniel was asked to leave due to the business receiving many calls. <laughs> Daniel uploaded multiple videos of him walking around the city while simultaneously shouting out people for cash out app donations. In one video, he shouted out Jeffrey Epstein. Houston, last one. Daniel arrived in Houston in the day of March 29th. On March 30th, Daniel uploaded a video of himself getting kicked out of the Greyhound bus station. Again, he's still at the Greyhound station. Daniel, Daniel posted a video inside of the same bus station resulting in the location being notified of his presence. Daniel was kicked out again. In one video an employee can be heard telling Daniel that he has been kicked out for calling the police to the location during his visit. Daniel claimed that he received a death threat which, was promptly, which that prompted the 911 call. Later Daniel posts videos from a business that was identified as Bonchon and was also kicked out of the business after the business received multiple multiple threats multiple calls about Daniel. Daniel apparently called the police over being doxxed and walked outside and waited outside. In one video he claimed the business was received a bomb threat from one of his trolls. Should never send a bomb threat even if it's fake, don't don't do that. However, all of the customers were still dining in the video. Oh, he lied about that then. Dan and Daniel was the only one outside. After being kicked out, Daniel goes live on TikTok, back at Bunchon, while where he was kicked out again. Daniel then posts a video of him talking to the police while he, where he screams at them to call in dispatch. At the end of the video, Daniel flips them off. In, in a video posted immediately after, Daniel films an almost empty sidewalk with just a pedestrian walking a dog. In a video, he seemingly out of nowhere screams, Bitch, I told you I was getting dogs. Yeah, he's getting fucking worse. The police were far away to, too far away to be seen, but it is assumed that he was screaming at them in the video. Later, Daniel posts a video claiming that during his last conversation with the police he received a warning that any more calls would would result in an arrest and his internet presence was crazy. Dan Daniel announced that he was ready to ba about ready to press charges on the police department which you can't fucking do I don't think. Later Daniel visits the first location and refuses to pay his mill down and dashing again which is illegal Result of, resulting of him being kicked out of the restaurant. S Daniel soon returns to the third location and announces that he refu refused to be threatened with Gale and is back to call the police even though he did it illegally. La later Daniel uploads a picture of a receipt from from the poor behaviour um, of his TikTok. The receipt shows that he purchased $15 garlic pasta and $16 Texas size nachos with chicken added for an additional six dollars. After the restaurant threatened to kick Daniel out for not being able to pay, a fan came to his aid and covered the restaurant bill, because of course they fucking would. 
Danny remained in Houston on the 31st, spending his time in the Dave and Busters, which was eventually kicked out of due to his call, due to, to call, calls from trolls who located him. That night, he started a live stream where he's walking through the park ne next to the zoo. He began phoning. He, he began getting phone calls from multiple phone numbers, to which the caller made threat and rape threats, de death and rape threats against him, claiming to be the Diggle Monster. <laughs> and later, Merck, and later Merck, Daniel then became suspicious of a person following him with a flashlight. So he broke out into a run and asked a few pedestrians to call the police. He pulled up text to show proof of the threats and the live stream ended. That was it. Last edit was on today. That was a ride. That really was a ride. Um, if this gets updated, um, for the L3 in five minutes. If this gets updated, um, I'll read the updates um, in like the next Daniel Larson video before I do the next um article but yeah i just wanted to give more updates on what's going on as of now um i hope you enjoyed this video it's been a bloody trip <laughs> don't forget to like and subscribe and on your left hand side of the screen there's the links if you want to support the channel you can and i'll see you guys next time